So, in today's video, we're going through floor prep. Treating any rust, sorting out any holes, getting the van floor ready for the stud work to go down, the insulation to go down, and then the ply lining over the top. So we're gonna run through bits of rush treatment, what we did basically. A lot of time lapse in this, cause I doubt you really wanna see me just painting away at the floor. Um, any holes were found, we've sealed up with window bonding adhesive because it's rubberized, it's flexible, gives you a really good seal so no water can get in. So I'll throw you in there now, most of it's time lapse as I said and we'll um, get back to you in a bit. So as you can probably see from this is I've already started taking it back with a wire brush. So I'm just gonna hoover up all of this dust now. A bit overexposed there. Hoover up all this dust now. And then probably hit it again with a wire brush. And then we're gonna apply hammerite crust to isolate the corrosion and then it will get a coat of hammer right over the top. So first thing, bit of a hoover. Right, now I'm gonna get wire brush again. Give it another good wire brushing. As you can see, still a bit more coming out there. Hit it with the Dyson again. Now we're going to apply some Hammerite crust. This converts rust into a stable surface in 15 minutes. So basically, what it does is it turns the oxides into a more stable compound that won't continue to oxidize and corrode. So we just get our brush, brush it on, get it into all the gaps, as you can see, that's pretty bad there. We've got a bit of a hole going on. You wanna give it a good, you need to agitate it. So that, it gets into all the gaps and spaces where the corrosion might be hiding that you can't get with a wire brush. Right, 
And what I'll do is I'll stick you on time lapse now, and you can watch how it works because it'll turn the rust black, and that means it's isolated the oxides and turned them into a more stable compound. So we'll flick you on to time lapse now. So as you can see, all the rust's turned black. I haven't left it for the full 15 minutes because I doubt you want to see all that, but you can see it starts to turn a blacky purple and that is the rust being isolated. So what I'll do is I'll stick you down the other end of the van, slam you on time lapse and we'll crack on. Treated all the rust on the floor with hammer right crust. Now it's time to wipe any of the excess treatment off and give the whole floor a good coat of hammer right. I doubt you want to watch this in real time, so I'll slam you on time lapse now. So as you can see, we've got some sizeable holes in the wheel arch. So what we're going to have to do, is we're going to have to cut this section out here and weld a new piece in. So what we're going to do is since there's going to have to be some welding going on for the gas tank, when we weld the frame in for the gas tank, we're going to do this at the same time and do the welding that needs doing on the vehicle all at once. Saves faffing about getting the welder in and out, disconnecting batteries. So, we'll bring out a separate video on fixing this issue. Go. Right, so we've got some Sikaflex uh, 521 UV, just some black that I had left, up, left over in a tube. We're gonna use this to seal up these floors, these holes in the floor, just stop any water coming up underneath the floor when we're driving onto the insulation and the floors down. So all I'm going to do is squirt a bit on it like that. Same with that one. Same with that there. Same with this one here. Same 
So I think you get the idea. We're just gonna go around, seal all these holes up, make sure the floor is all watertight. So I'm not even gonna bother time lapsing this cause there's no point. So we'll catch you in a minute. So that's the end of this episode. We've got the majority of the floor prep done. One of the arches, as you've seen, I'm gonna to have to cut and weld, and weld a new section in cause it's beyond filling with Sikaflex. All the other holes in the floor, which are from screws or where somebody's been drilling a piece of wood and gone through the floor of the van has been filled and sealed as Sikaflex. Whole floors had a good coat of hammerite and before we coated it with hammerite, we've wire brushed it all down and treated any rough spots with hammerite crust. So the next video, you're gonna see us insulating the headliner. So big thumbs up, we are making progress. As always, if you enjoy what you're watching, if you find us informative, give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up on the video, ring the little bell for notifications of when we're posting a video. And if you've got any questions at all or any tips and tricks for us to use, put a comment in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, if I don't know the answer, I'll find somebody who does know the answer or a video that explains it better than me. As you can hear, the weather is absolutely terrible out there, so we're not gonna get much else done on the van today. So we'll catch you on the next episode. See you in a bit.